Darren Waller, tight end of the Las Vegas Raiders here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, your, your story's amazing, Darren. What you are, who you are, what you are, what you've become, where you've been, where you're going, what you've got going for you is truly remarkable. I honestly did not know your story until Hard Knocks last year. If I had told that kid from the Baltimore Ravens what's going on right now for you, what would you have said? Um, I mean, it was, I mean, it was, you know, everything was going on back then, but it was just like, you know, I tried to do it all myself without any help, without, uh, you know, any kind of guidance. Um, but now it's like, you know, looking back, I was just, you know, trying to just impress so many people and be all things to all people. And now it's just like a much more simpler life and the things that I do are, uh, are pleasing to God and pleasing to me. So it's, I just, it's just a much more simple way of living than before. It was like, I felt like I had to do so many different things, whereas now I can just focus on what I got to do. Well, there's so many people who are listening and watching right now who know somebody or perhaps are battling addiction like you did, Darren. How did you turn the corner? How did you plant your foot and say, this is, this is going to stop and I'm going to go in a different direction? How did you do it? Um, I mean, it starts with like, you know, admitting like that you're basically like powerless, like you don't really have as much control over, you know, what you think you have control over and admitting that and realizing that you need help and that you can't do it alone. And, you know, just getting transparent and honest with yourself to the point that it hurts. But after that initial pain comes freedom and, you know, hope for your future. Whereas it was all clouded by, you know, darkness and negativity before, but you got to be honest with yourself. Cause I mean, the, the drugs and the alcohol are really just a symptom of what's really going on inside you, inside your mind, inside your spirit. So it's just, you know, confronting those things and then, the sky's the limit after that. Well, the sky is certainly still the limit for you. Uh, I mean, uh, to what do you attribute your success on the field? Um, I mean, I just attribute it to just the way that I've, you know, built a new foundation for my life since, you know, that time I had to be out of the league and it just allowed me to, you know, reorganize my priorities and realize that, you know, my mental health and my, you know, spiritual life are need to be intact. Those have to be my priorities in order for the, the product in the football field to be there. Like I have to take myself onto the field. I can't just turn into a new person. Like who I am is going to be out there on display with that helmet on and pads on. So I make sure that I'm in check and that I'm doing the work and, you know, not trying to attach myself to results and outcomes and just, you know, just losing myself in the process. Who is, who is your safety net right now? Who is your support team? Who is your, your family, friends? Uh, walk me through it, Darren Waller. Who, who's there yeah. with you, for you? Yeah, I got my parents. Um, I got, you know, my best friend. I got, uh, you know, men in recovery that are on the same journey that I'm in that I look to for advice and guidance on a day-to-day basis. Um you know, my teammates got my back. My my position coach, uh, Frank Smith, definitely has my back. Um, just me as a person. So I got a lot of people invested in me, just Darren Wall and not just, you know, the tight end that's out there making plays. It's just, you know, they love me for me and, you know, invest a lot of time and energy into me. And I'm just thankful to them for that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.